welcome to my YouTube channel where every episode I take a physics topic and hopefully explain it in a really simple and understandable way. Now some episodes are just going to be fun physics facts but most are going to try to tie in to the current school curriculum. So when that's the case I'm going to put the key stage in the episode title. Today we'll be finding out what a magnet actually is. A magnet is a material or an object that produces a magnetic field and this magnetic field is invisible. Magnetic materials are always made of metal, but not all metals are magnetic. So some examples of these permanent magnets are iron, steel, nickel, and cobalt. These are all magnetic materials. But most other metals like aluminium, copper, and gold are not magnetic. So permanent magnets are most commonly made out of iron. And because iron is magnetic, then any metal with iron in it will be attracted to a magnet. For example, steel. Because steel contains iron, then like a steel paperclip will be attracted to a magnet too. To summarize, magnets are specific types of metal that produce their own magnetic field. All right, now bar magnets are magnets in the shape of a bar. No way. Yeah, never would have guessed that one. So bar magnets have two ends, where one end is called the North Pole and the other end is called the South Pole. Recognise these names? That's right, the Earth has a North Pole and a South Pole too. Well that's because the Earth has an iron core, which creates the Earth's own magnetic field. That's a pretty cool little fact for you there. If you want to see something super awesome that the Earth's magnetic field helps create, then you should definitely check out my Aurora video. Anyways, bar magnets have a north and a south pole, as well as their invisible magnetic fields that surround them. The magnetic field is a region where magnetic materials experience a force. You can draw the magnetic field using lines called magnetic field lines. Key tip to remember, the magnetic field lines always point from the North Pole to the South Pole. This is what a magnetic field looks like around a bar magnet, just to give you an idea. You can get visual evidence of these invisible magnetic field lines by doing an experiment with iron filings. So, put a bar magnet flat on a piece of paper, then you take some iron filings now, I don't know if anyone actually has any of these lying around the house, so you might have to see if your school has any or order some. And you scatter these iron filings around the bar magnet on the paper. As iron is magnetic, the filings will align themselves along the magnetic field lines, producing a physical representation of the magnetic field lines for you. That's pretty cool. Compasses also allow you to investigate magnetic fields. So they will always point from north to south along the field lines wherever it's placed in the field. This, coupled with the fact that the Earth has its own magnetic field, allows compasses to help us navigate. The compass lines up with the magnetic fields, so a compass will always point to the Earth's magnetic north pole, which is pretty close to the actual north pole, believe it or not. And finally, Magnets don't need to touch for there to be a force between them. Ooh. Opposite poles attract and like poles repel. So a north and a south pole are attracted to each other. So if you had two bar magnets, they would attract each other by their north and south poles, even if they were a distance apart. Whereas like poles repel, if you try and bring two of the same type of magnetic pole together, they will repel each other. So if you have the same two bar magnets and point the south poles at each other and try and bring them closer together, they will never touch. They will produce a repelling force so strong that even you wouldn't be able to push them together. <sighs> now, I'm pretty strong and even I can't beat the magnet's repulsive forces. There we have it, all about magnets. 
Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please do like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I will try to do a video for you.